So in this question, we're dealing with an AC theory situation and we essentially have an OR-C circuit, that's OR for resistor, C for capacitor, connected to an alternating current source. And we're provided some information about the circuit. So first of all, we're given the resistance of the resistor and we're given the capacitance of the capacitor. So I'll just write these down here as well so we know what they are. The resistance is 330 ohms and the capacitance is 24 microfarads. And the wording of the question is we're working to find the magnitude of the reactive element of the impedance of that circuit. So I'll write that down here in this notation. The magnitude of the reactive element means the imaginary part of the overall impedance of that circuit. That's essentially what we're trying to get here. Now, when it's presenting like this, it's quite confusing. We'll break it down. But we're talking about the overall impedance of that circuit. So we have to consider the resistor and capacitor in series. And looking at what is the overall impedance of that circuit said. Now, when we're dealing with AC theory, the impedance of certain components depends upon the frequency. And what we're going to see here is that the impedance of that total circuit is going to be the impedance of the first element, which is the impedance of the resistor, Z or, plus the impedance of the capacitor, Zc. And whatever number of elements we have in series, we would do the same. And what you're also going to see here is that the impedance of the resistor is just its resistance. And we already have that value here, so it's 330 ohms. But the impedance of our capacitor is a little bit more complicated, but it's an imaginary value, so it has a J associated with it, and it's a negative imaginary value, and it depends upon its capacitive reactance Xc. And we can calculate Xc as 1 over 2 times pi times the frequency, which we have, we're given that in our question here multiplied by the capacitance. Now, with, when we have these two values, we can pass them back into our equation for our total impedance. And what you're going to end up seeing is that you're going to end up with an imaginary number for the total impedance, A in the form A plus B times J. And when it's presented in this form, an impedance, this part here represents the in-phase component or the resistance of the circuit. And this value here, this is going to represent the reactance of the circuit. So if you look at it here, this is the real part, which is the resistance, and this is the imaginary part, which is the reactance. So what this question is actually looking for us to work out here is this reactive part here. So let's do that. I'm just going to swap onto the screen here, pull up Octave just as a means of calculating stuff. But we're told in the question that our capacitance is 24. microfarads. Our frequency is equal to 700 hertz. So we can work out the capacitive reactance. That's 1 
divided by 2 times pi times the frequency times the capacitance. That gives us back 9.47 ohms. With the impedance of a capacitor, it's minus J times capacitor reactance. You can see here, this is an imaginary value. No real part, all imagined. So we can pass the S value. In here, minus 9.47. J ohms. Now, if we take that down here, our impedance, the total impedance is 330 minus 9.47 J ohms. Where again, this is the real part of Z. And this part here is the imaginary part of Z, which is minus 9.47 ohms. And this is what the question is looking for. This is the magnitude of the reactants. Well, sorry, that is its reactance, but the magnitude then would just be 9.47. And the same approach would be taken for a question if it was RC, if it was RL, or if it was LC. The only difference here, we'll put this as an aside, is that the if we had an inductor in that question, the impedance of the inductor is J times XL where XL is just 2 pi F times L. So we take the same approach. But just understanding what the difference between the resistance and the reactance of the circuit would help you find out the proper answer for those ones.